All right, so this is less of a, a travel guide and more just sort of like me casually sharing my experiences. But I found that when I was traveling in Chiang Mai in particular, there's a few things that I wish I'd known sort of beforehand. Um, and those things are as follows. So first thing you'll notice when you get to Chiang Mai, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. There's so many things to do. Uh, but most people make the mistake of only staying for a few days and I feel like that's just not enough to experience it fully uh, You know when I went I stayed for a month. I feel like that was probably a bit too long You know, I think two to three weeks would have been the ideal time to spend it, You know if you're like doing things every single day and packing in your days with activities But definitely only three or four days is way too short of a time to really see Chiang Mai There's so many things, you know, and several of the things are sort of quite far outside of Chiang Mai you know, like there are certain waterfalls and certain hikes that you can go on, which take a couple of hours to get to from the centre of Chiang Mai. So if you just limit yourself to the city, you're going to miss out on those things. You know, there's several hikes that even I wish I'd gone on, you know, that maybe I'll have to go on when I go back there. Uh, but yeah, if, if you're going to go to Chiang Mai, definitely stay for at least two to three weeks. And ideally stay in one place and then use that as a base. Uh, because if you're, you know, spending money and time on going between different host hostels or hotels or places you're gonna miss out on you know, the time that you need to see the rest of Chiang Mai. Now, the first thing that you'll probably already know, there are tons of temples in Chiang Mai, like probably much more than the average city or, or town in, Chiang, in uh, Thailand. And they're all sort of worth seeing. They're all you know, really impressive. They have something unique about them, you know, whether it's the color, the shape of them, the culture or the history, or even just where they are and how they look. You're not really going to want to miss out on any of the temples, especially not the ones in the centre of Chiang Mai, like Wat Lok Moli and things like that. These are really small, cute temples in the centre um, that are just on the side of the road. But you go into them and it's quite a, a nice complex and you've got like grounds and things. And, and uh, some of them have several temples inside the actual grounds themselves. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I won't actually go through names of temples because the chances are... If you just go on Google Maps and type in temples near me when you're in Chiang Mai, you're going to see dozens of them. They're going to appear as red dots all over your map and you'll be able to choose you know, a route that you want to take. I would definitely recommend seeing all of them, um, especially if you're there for more than a week. You know, you've got time and it's definitely one of the coolest things to do in Chiang Mai. Second thing I want to mention is traveling around Chiang Mai, just use Grab. Okay, either walk it or use Grab. Don't rely on the taxis or the Son Taos, uh, you know, the red buses, because they can be a bit pricey and we actually got ripped off a couple of times on the, on the red buses. Whereas with Grab, it's very simple. You download the app, okay, you, you press on the map where you want to go, you click book driver, and within a couple of minutes, the driver has turned up, you've already paid for it on the app, so they can't negotiate the price or try and get more money out of you. Um, and you're just ready to go, you know, it's very simple, very secure. It's very safe as well, because, you know, the drivers rely on reviews and ratings, so if they were a dodgy driver or, you know, they were trying to scam people, they wouldn't get very far before the actual app itself shut them down and stopped them being able to take new passengers. So very easy and cheap way of getting around the city. Um, in terms of food, there's loads of options, but, you know, myself being plant based as much as I can, I tried to find the vegan cafes and things like that. There were lots of places like that, uh, you know, had places like Good Souls, you had places... Um, all over the, the centre of the city and on the outskirts which would cater for vegans and vegetarians so that was great. I would highly recommend visiting uh, the temple slightly outside, it's quite a trip outside of Chiang Mai, it's actually in Chiang Rai and that is the White Temple. This is probably the best temple I've seen in my life but I would recommend doing that last. Don't do that first thing or in the middle of your trip because then it's going to make all the other temples and activities seem slightly less impressive. You know, I'm so glad I did that last thing because if I'd done that first, it sort of would have ruined the other temples for me a bit. And lastly, just have a good time, have fun, you know, stay safe and just try and make friends. It's a really lovely place. The people are really friendly and there's so much to do. You know, even the shopping malls, you walk into a shopping mall and there's just there's just several levels and floors of different ideas and shops and like concepts. You know, there'll be a food court level. There'll be like a a, a, a bar area on the top of the complex, especially in Chiang Mai's um, Maya complex. That seems to be the main one. Uh, and also Central. I, you know, I visited all of these over my over the time I spent there. I think Maya and Central were my favourite, but there were a couple of others on the outskirts that were really cool as well. Um, Central was actually huge. We, we got lost in Central Mall quite a few times um, because there's just so much there. You know, it's such a, a really sprawling shopping mall with several levels, and on each level there's different like walkways and connecting bits, and it gets confusing. We did get lost a few times. We managed to walk into some bodybuilding competition just on on the level we happened to be walking through. It was really random. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the shopping malls. Definitely check out all of the things that Chiang Mai has to offer. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think is the coolest thing in Chiang Mai if you've been, or like maybe what you're planning to go and see. And I'll see you next time.